The short answer is to a great extent yes. Watch the video to find out more. Good evening everyone, Nargis here. Look into the mirror and see how gorgeous you look today. Welcome to my channel where I talk about Iran, Persian language and myself as an Iranian. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you won't miss my future videos. So, the big question, am I inbred? First, let's see what inbreeding is. According to Oxford Dictionary, inbreeding is the breeding of closely related people or animals, especially over many generations. This has happened a lot in the past in Iran and is still happening to a considerable extent. But why? Two main reasons. One, the official religion in the country, which is also the law because it's a theocracy over here, is Shia or Shiite Islam. And in Islam, there is a concept called mahram. If you're a girl, mahram would mean people from the opposite sex, including your dad, brothers, your parents' brothers, grandfathers, great-grandfathers, and your grandparents' brothers. Islamically speaking, you are allowed to be close to these people, show them your hair, and shake hands with them, but you're not allowed to marry them. And in turn, if you're a boy, this category would include people such as your mom, your sisters, your parents' sisters, grandmothers, great-grandmothers, and your grandparents' sisters. And whether you're a boy or a girl, your cousins from the opposite sex, even the first cousins, won't be included in this category, which means you won't be allowed to be super close to them, shake hands with them, show them your hair if you're a girl, or look at their hair if you're a boy, or touch them. Basically, it means they're like strangers to you and therefore you're allowed to marry them. So in traditional and religious families, cousins won't be like siblings and therefore they sometimes marry. However, as I've said in my previous videos as well, things are changing a bit over here and many people are becoming less religious. Therefore, many of them have grown up with their cousins and therefore they're like siblings and marriage doesn't happen among them. 2. Iran is a developing country, which means many people of my generation, or at least our parents or grandparents, were born and raised in various small towns or villages. Practically speaking, this means there won't be so many people around you and pretty much everyone would be a close relative. So, even if their religion or the law didn't approve of it, inbreeding was bound to happen in many parts of the country. Now, what about me? Both my parents, all my grandparents, their parents and their grandparents are and were from a small village here in Isfahan province. Actually, I think all of us have been from there down to at least six or seven generations. And based on what I already said, the village must have been heavily inbred. Let's be more specific. My mom and dad aren't much related, at least as far as three or four generations ago, where there was a cousin marriage between two of their ancestors. But... My mom's parents are first cousins, my dad's too. I asked my dad's mom and uh, she said her parents were first cousins too. Now, did they have any problems? Well, my dad was the first child and he had eight other siblings who all died at a young age. I know it was to some extent because of extreme poverty. I mean, uh, they lived in a small village, covered in a meter of snow in some seasons where uh, there was no vehicle to take a sick child to a doctor in the nearest town. The only vehicle available was minibuses from nearby villages. My dad told me one of his siblings was sick and he and my grandpa took the kid to the road because there was only one and waited for more than an hour in the snow for a minibus. No minibus showed up and the poor kid died. 
According to my grandma, all those poor kids got sick and then died. But I'm sure it's not just because of lack of vaccines or hygiene or nutrition, as she puts it. I mean, I'm sure their gene pool that was packed with so many recessive genes passed throughout generations had at least something to do with the situation. I mean, thank God I don't have a tail or something, you know. But what about today? Sometimes you do hear doctors on TV bashing marriage between relatives and saying it might potentially lead to genetic diseases. But there's no official ban on it and it still happens a lot, especially because of some religious beliefs such as if you trust God, nothing will go wrong. In my opinion, if you grow up with your cousins and you're close to them, they will be like siblings to you and you won't be able to have that kind of feelings um, towards them, which is the case with many less religious and less traditional Iranian families. I hope someday marriage between relatives will be banned altogether over here. That was it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe and do not marry your cousin.